This is a fight between Tulsi Gabbard and Kamala Harris. Or basically, Kamala Harris is uh, one of her senior aides going after Tulsi Gabbard's statement that she made in regards towards something that Kamala Harris shared on Twitter. So what do I mean by this? Well, some time ago uh, on Twitter, Kamala Harris basically tweeted at Jack, uh, who was one of the main CEOs of Twitter, um, about taking down or shutting down President Donald Trump's Twitter account. Now, look, I think we all can agree that the stuff that Donald Trump shares on social media is disgusting. It's insensitive. It's downright racist and sexist and numerous other things you want to label onto it. But the minute when you call for canceling someone's speech or taking down someone's social media account, it's sort of like, okay, well, what else are you deeming should be shut down? Because let's remember, Facebook and Twitter have shut down a lot of progressive and independent media news network sites or progressive pages. And, you know, there's nothing been done to really make sure those pages are activated again. Even the libertarians were shut down on Facebook, too. That was like about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, when you call for silencing someone's social media or, or something that you don't agree with, well, that means you're inviting even your own social media to be shut down. And the only way you could really beat speech like President Donald Trump is with intelligent speech, people who are more organized, people who can actually counter it with facts and information. You just don't ask, uh, you know, the head of Twitter, say, hey, shut down this person's account because X, Y, and Z. Look, we all can agree that everything that Donald Trump posts on social media is disgusting, but you just can't shut it all down. So here's what happened. Um, a spokesman for Senator Kamala Harris on Wednesday lashed out at Representative Tulsi Gabbard after the congresswoman criticized Harris, Harris's call on Twitter to suspend President Donald Trump's account. Uh, Harris uh, National Press Secretary Ian Sams tweeted a response to Gabbard's assertion uh, that a suspension of Trump's account would violate the First Amendment, saying that she was using the same talking points as the personalities on Fox News. This is this this is the exact talking point at Fox News personalities were stating on air all day yesterday. So when asked about this, Representative Tulsi Gabbard made this statement. Freedom of speech is something that is important, foundational, right in our democracy. We can't just cancel or shut down or silence those we disagree with or who hold different views or who say things that even that we even strongly disagree with or abhor. So um, again, Tulsi Gabbard is correct on this. You just can't shut down social media. Um, and again, the article, this is from the article from The Hill. Uh, they mentioned at the very end, Gabbard went after uh, Harris's record as attorney general in California, saying that she should apologize for those who suffered under her reign. Harris responded the next day by taking a shot at Gabbard's low polling numbers while referring to herself as a top tier candidate. But it should be noted that she's not a top tier candidate because she's only ranking in fifth place. Now, at one point, she was a little bit Wait, higher. Did she just say she was a top tier candidate again? Yeah. But I want everyone to remember, it was Tulsi Gabbard, the giant slayer, that knocked her out, Kamala Harris out, as being a top-tier candidate during the second Democratic debate. I'm looking forward to round two, because I'm, I guarantee you this, Tulsi Gabbard has some words to say. But if again, this is round two, then, then the next one could be, you know, final round. I know, but I, I, I want to make it again very clear to what, what Representative Tulsi Gabbard is saying. She's not saying that she supports Trump, because, you know, the media is going to twist it somewhere, like, oh, Tulsi Gabbard supports Trump. No, that's not it at all. Tulsi Gabbard is against... Anyone silencing speech or taking down social media. Look, even Tulsi Gabbard, um, uh, after the first and second Democratic debates, Google, her, it, it Google the entire network, was basically silencing or shutting down any search for Tulsi Gabbard, even though after those two debates, she was the most searched candidate. So, again, there's a danger when you call for shutting down or silencing somebody. If you oh, if you call for that, you're opening up a box that's going to lead to a disaster. But Paul, I want to get your comments. Is it on Pandora this. the box? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, we've been talking about that principle for a couple of years now, and it, a lot of it did launch with, "Oh, Alex Jones is terrible, and we need to get rid of him." And we were going, "Hey, wait a minute!" But you're you're asking private companies to police people extrajudicially, which it is on their private platform. So I understand your legal argument there. Perhaps, given the size and influence that these social media networks have, we should have a discussion in this company, in this country, boy, in this country, about public commons. Can we have some sort of public commons type ruling on this? And that's why you know people do like things like Elizabeth Warren's breaking up the tech companies, but she doesn't seem to target that specifically. What really kind of irks me about this story is it it betrays Kamala Harris's camp a lot. 
Is it that she doesn't understand the nuance about the First Amendment argument that we should not advocate that private companies deplatform someone, that we should not, that they should not in particular, as government officials, go about asking private companies to silence others, even others in pol uh, politics? Yep. Or is it that she just is too far into the tribalism, like ESPN style politics of like Republican bad, Democrat good, mm -hmm. Republican bad, Democrat good. Trump say bad things. Make Trump not say bad things. Yeah, Make but Trump that, stop say bad things. But, the, but see, that's not going to work. And here's why it's not going to work, especially if you want to silence Trump. Because Trump and his message has a lot of support. He's got followers on social media. He's got a lot of followers who are going to basically, you know, wonder, well, how come you're silencing it? Look, look what happened to Alex Jones. Did that end Alex Jones as soon as they took him off of social media? Technically, yes, but technically, no, because his followers still follow him on other platforms. Well, he doesn't have the reach that he had. I yeah. mean, you can't deny that aspect of the strategy, but it's it's super problematic, and, and it puts every creator, um, everyone that offers their opinion to the world on these social media platforms, it, it yeah. makes them uneasy. Like, what happens when the government just decides that they don't like what I'm saying and they're going to petition Jack to go take me down? Yeah, and like, wait, hang on. I thought I thought we I thought the government wasn't supposed to be silencing people, but oh, the, we've we've shielded it. We've laundered the responsibility through a private company, so the government absolutely can now publicly go to private companies and say, silence this person. Well, the government actually has, and especially social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram have been doing that towards progressives. Look, even during when we were on radio, when we were on radio, we covered stories on how the libertarians, progressives on all these social media platforms were being shut down and they were losing all their followers and thus a voice was being silenced. So when you call for something like this, specifically towards Kamala Harris, when you call for something like this, when you're asking Jack of Twitter to say, take down President Donald Trump's Twitter account, uh, it's a disaster because then everyone's open to be called to be shut down. I mean, even we here at Hard Lens Media, and you know, there's a lot of issues that independent media has to deal with what was being on YouTube or any other platform because the um, algorithm will target us, and it's not fair, it's not right, and this kind of uh, judgment from Kamala Harris once again proves why she's not a top-tier candidate. Well, and I want to bring it back full and, circle, is that that yeah. comes back and bites the, the left as well, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we got Alex Jones deplatformed, but in the following month, the, the whatever it was, the 100-plus other accounts that were silenced were like... Um, Police the Police, a website that encouraged people to record police interactions for accountability. That's yeah. not a right wing site. Um, uh, I can't give it. Truth Dig was one of them. There were a whole list of, of other sites that were deplatformed on either Facebook or Twitter or elsewhere. This has been a long, ongoing saga. And it's a little tone deaf of Kamala Harris and her camp to, to just. Ask for Donald Trump to be silenced. Like and, that's going to go anywhere. And see, so when and when Tulsi Gabbard, who sees the bigger picture, says, "No, you can't do this. It, we have a thing called freedom of speech. Uh, look, you just can't scream fire in a building. But the only way you could beat intelligent, you know, stupid speech is with intelligent speech, speech that has information and facts backing up. And Tulsi Gabbard brought in facts and information. Look, we have a constitution. We have freedom of speech. You just can't call for uh, censorship or shutting down anything. So. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays during the fourth Democratic debate in October. We will be covering it. We'll be giving our live commentary. Plus, we have some very epic uh, graphics for that debate. Yeah. We're going I to can't give too much away, though. I will not keep I, no. it more lively, though, than like the past yeah. few. It's kind of been us sitting there going, oh, I don't want to talk over when we're playing the audio, but it is kind of just us sitting here. Yeah. So it may not well, be just us sitting here. Yeah, but we're having beer, too. So not only there will, will be beer. Not only will there be beer. But we will also have new graphics because guess who's helping us with the graphics? You guys for supporting our channel. So there we go. I thought you were going to say Biden it up or something. No, he's well, not helping us with graphics. You know what? He's the, he's I think, the content I think, of our graphics. I think so. Well, we, before we move on, I think it's time to do it just a little quick. Biden, Biden it, it up. up. Yeah, ready? Uh, there he is. is. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I love our graphics. We got we, we got something really awesome for that debate. Don't worry. We, we were planning for it. We're, we're working on it. We're yeah, working on it.